Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodo's channel. For today's video, we are going to show you a new system here somewhere in Quezon City. So this system is unique because this is a decoupled aquaponic system. What does that mean if it's a decoupled aquaponic system? It means that the RAS component or the recirculating aquaculture component is separate from our hydroponic component over here. So to start our walkthrough, let's first start with our RAS component over here. So follow me. So in our RAS component, we have our 1,200 liter capacity conical bottom fish tank. So in this fish tank, we have uh, around 100 red tilapia. So let's feed the tilapia. So it's a mixture of different size fingerlings. Let's see if they're hungry. I think they're not hungry. So in this uh, uh, fish tank, we have a solid lifting outlet over there. So that's the solid lifting outlet. So the solid lifting outlet will uh, collect all the waste excreted by the tilapia from the bottom of our conical bottom fish tank and deliver it to our filter over there. Okay. So before we start the filter or the walkthrough filter, the fish tank is also provided with dissolved oxygen via an air manifold on the side with air uh, valves, air hose, and an air stone at the bottom. And the compressor is located at the far end of uh, the uh, garden, okay, over there. Okay, so again, from the solid lifting outlet, it goes to our filter over here. So this is the main uh, DuraFlow mini filter. So from the fish tank, it exits our radial flow over here. So the radial flow component traps the waste by diverting it to the bottom of this conical bottom tank over here. And then from the radial flow, it will exit a static bed over here. So it's very easy to maintain our static bed. You simply have to open a valve, divert the air here in the static bed, let the media churn for 5 to 10 minutes. So the churning motion knocks off all the muck and, and the fish solids trapped inside the K1 media. So by, by churning it and by simmering it, you uh, knock off all the solids and uh, bring force them down to the bottom of our conical bottom fish tank. And then after that, we can open the drain over here. So we have a drain over here for maintenance purposes, okay? And then we turn it off. We transfer the air back to our MBBR and the cleaning cycle is over, okay? But for the purposes of this video, we won't clean it. But we have other videos showing how to clean this uh, filter. So in the, from the static bed, it exits another radial flow over here. So this is another radial cone over here. And then from this radial cone, it exits our MBBR or moving bed bioreactor over here. So in the moving bed bioreactor, we have uh, media pellets, plastic media pellets that houses good bacteria. So by the by churning it, or, uh, by churning it with air, you knock off all the old bacteria and promote new surface area for younger and stronger bacteria. So hence the name moving bed bioreactor. So here in the moving bed bioreactor, we convert the ammonia into nitrates. It also degasses the water by adding uh, air or compressed air. It degasses all the uh, toxic gases of the water. Okay, so then from the MBBR, it exits our sump over here. So this is our sump. So because this is a decoupled system, our sump has its own small pump. So. So from the small pump, it will now go back to our fish tank and filter, okay? So the sump also has duckweed. So the duckweed, we also feed to our uh, tilapia. So we, we get some duckweed and we feed our tilapia. So we feed 30% of duckweed to our tilapia. So, so that's the first part of our system, the last part, okay? So because this is a decoupled system, when when there's a problem with the uh, fish you can treat the fish with salt a little salt because 
the the RAS component is not directly connected with the hydroponic component. So how so how do we get the nutrients from the fish water to the hydroponic component? We have a bypass valve over here. Okay? Let's go to the bypass valve. So this bypass valve is uh, regularly, regularly opened uh, weekly. So when I open this valve, uh, because the, the sump here has a higher elevation compared here, the, the water will flow here, okay? And then after a few minutes, we turn that off. So the water from the, the nutrient filled water from our uh, sump will now go to, uh, to our hydroponic sump over here. So the, in the hydroponic sump, we have a DWC. So in this DWC, we have a lettuce seedlings. So these are a week old lettuce seedlings. So why do we decouple the hydroponic part? Because if you want to adjust the pH for your uh, hydroponic part, it will not affect the pH of the fish. The pH of the fish is a little bit high at around uh, 7 to 8 pH. The pH of the hydroponic part, on the other hand, is a little bit low at around 6.5 to 6.8. So if we want to buffer the hydroponic part because it turns acidic due to the nitrification process, we can get the nutrient-filled water from the fish tank and buffer it up. And if we want to buffer the fish tank water down, we can add new water from our deep well or from our city water. We just aerate it for 24 hours. And again, if you want to treat with uh, organic nutrients, you can uh, add organic nutrients here in the hydroponic part because it's se separate from our uh, RAS or recirculating aquaculture. So in the hydroponic part, we have another uh, DWC over here. So this DWC has its own pump. So this one runs on two pumps. So this is a slightly bigger pump. Uh, so that pump is around uh, 40 watts. This pump is around 50 watts. So this pump delivers the water all through the eight gravel beds you see on the side. So we have a valve over here. So this is the inlet. And then it exits from this inlet to a bell siphon on the other side. Okay? So this is the valve. This is the inlet. Uh, this is th this runs from the sump and this is another valve Another valve over here and another valve over here. So in the gravel bed. We have uh, some pet chai seedlings as well Let's look at the pet chai seedlings over here So the seedlings are nice and green because they're not affected with the PA They're not affected with the high pH of the fish water. So they, they have their own pH We also have a tomato at the far end and then from the gravel bed it exits a bell siphon over here. So let's look at the bell siphon. So this is a new design of our bell siphon. Uh, an end cap, a 2 inch uh, uh, pipe, PV PVC pipe, and a stand pipe, and an air hole at the bottom of our bell siphon. So the bell siphon aids in the flooding and draining of our gravel bed. Okay? So this gra this four gravel bed is mirrored on the other side. Let's go to the uh, to the other side to see the mirror image. Again, we have uh, some some more gravel bed over here. We have the inlet on this side. Okay. And then we have our bell siphon over here. So let's go to the bell siphon over here. So this is just a mirror image of the other side. So we started some pechai seedlings and we'll transplant them when they uh, get the uh, true leaf or when they mature up to two weeks. We'll transfer some of some of the pechai on the other gravel bed. So again, in this gravel bed, we have a uh, standpipe and then we also have a bell and then you have a strainer and a strainer cover. Okay, then the bell will now exit to the sump so those are the exits of all the bell siphons we also have exits here okay and then we also provide aeration by a air hose in an air stone so the aeration provides dissolved oxygen uh, for the roots of our 
uh, floating raft. So this floating raft is just a styrofoam raft with no soil underneath. So that's that's all uh, water, no soil. Okay. So because it's decoupled, uh, you don't need to worry about the pH uh, balancing. You can have a, a different pH here in the hydroponic component, and you can have a different pH in the uh, RAS component. So we also have uh, additional protein here. We have a black soldier fly uh, pod here, or a BS pod. So in the future, we'll show you another video on how we harvest uh, black soldier fly larvae to feed our chickens, if they have chickens here, and to feed the fish here, okay? So, to recap, again, the system is a decoupled aquaponic system. So, the rash component, the fish tank, the filter, and the filter sump has its own pump. And then, we, we transfer the nutrient-filled water via, via a bypass valve from the sump, from the rash sump, to the hydroponic sump over here. So, it's connected. So because there's a, a change in elevation, uh, the sump here is always higher than the sump here, okay? So the flow of the water is from the rest sump to our hydroponic sump, okay? And then our hydroponic part, we have our uh, two uh, sumps or DWC. We have a, a, another pump there which pumps the water all throughout the gravel beds. Uh, four here on our right side and another four here on the left side and then it exits back here to our uh, sump Okay, so if you want to learn more about aquaponics decoupled aquaponics or Just urban farming or uh, BS pod or black soldier fly larvae. We have our Facebook page uh, modular aquaponics We also have our YouTube channel Madodel. Don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated on the future videos here in our channel. Again, thank you for watching.